Hey y'all, Half Mile Sniper here, and we're back out on the range today. We're going to uh, break a couple out of a couple guns out of the safe just to see if there's a difference in velocities between a stainless steel barrel and a carbon steel barrel. So this ought to be pretty good. So kick back, put your feet up, and enjoy the ride. Give me a minute to get set up. Okay, so what we have here this morning, I broke a couple of uh, rare ones out of the safe. So, for starters, we have a Smith & Wesson Model 15 6-inch. You don't see many 6-inch Model 15s. Most of the Model 15s or Combat Masterpiece were 4-inch barrels and a handful of 2-inch barrels and very few 6-inch barrels. This is a six inch barrel that's been modified for competition with a Patridge front sight. So that is our carbon steel gun that we're going to put on the chronograph. And second up, we have a Smith & Wesson model 68. Got this one uh, at the gun, show, uh, gun shop because it was mismarked as a 6 inch 66 which did not exist and it, they said it was a 66 38 special only which if we I don't know if I can get it but it says right there 38 special and if you look closely here see if I can get it don't know if it's showing but that says CHP this was a California Highway Patrol duty gun six inch stainless steel 38 special only revolver and it was the model 68 so this is close as i can get this is about from the 1980s early 1980s this is from the mid 1980s i believe so they're both six inches one's carbon steel one's blued steel and today we are going to shoot some winchester super x 158 grain semi wad cutter just to see if we have a velocity difference between the two so give me a minute to uh, get set up and we will uh, see how these uh, these guns perform over the chronograph alrighty folks let me get my ears in and let's see what we do this will be the 6 inch model 15 shooting the 158 grain semi wad cutter Very good. Ah, that thing has a sweet trigger. Now let's go take a look at the uh, at the chronograph results. And we have a low of 787.4, a high of 850, and an average of 820.4. That's 820.4 feet per second out of the carbon steel barrel. So let's uh, get reset and do that again with the stainless steel. Okay, so now we have the six inch Model 68 stainless steel revolver, and we'll see what kind of velocities we get. Here we go. Very good. Let's see how the uh, stainless steel performed. So our stainless steel gun, we had a low of 741, 
a high of 844, and an average of 802. Definitely not expect it. I did not expect the stainless steel gun to be running that much slower. Wow. Interesting. Well, I'm going to uh, do something I don't think I've ever tried before. Since I've got two similar guns, I think we're going to shoot them at the same time. We're going to shoot them on the steel plate down there. Uh, I'm diagonal across the range and I'm at the 15 yard line. So here we go. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself. Ah, there we go. Double check, make sure they're both out. All righty. I think I missed a couple. They're a little bit high here at the 15 yard line, but let me get these puppies cracked open and made safe. Well, there we have it. I was quite surprised to see that uh, the carbon steel gun ran quicker than the stainless steel gun. Now, I, I actually expect them to be about the same. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to hit like. Hell, subscribe if you like. And uh, be sure to, if you do subscribe, hit that little bell for the notification. Help the channel out. Maybe we can get a few more people in here. Until next time, this will be Half Mile Sniper checking out. Y'all have a great day. Send it. Yeah.